hello guys and welcome back so now in this video what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the drop item mechanic all right for that open up the script and right here uncomment this key holder that's it then we can scroll down and write down below after this pickup we need to create another method now which will be by the name of drop item In here first of all we're gonna check if the player is holding any item so if the held item is not null then we are ready to drop the item so in order to drop the item we need to first of all re-enable the collider of the item and then we need to drop it in front of the player all right just like we do in real life so we will say held item dot get component get the collider component and we will set dot enable to true after this we want to drop it in front of the player so for that we will say held item dot transform dot position and this will be equals to transform dot position plus transform dot forward all right after this we want to re-enable the physics as well so for that we can just copy this if condition from the pickup and paste it in here then what we need to do is we need to set the s kinematic to false all right then after this we want the key or any item the player is picking we want that item to get out of the player because as you know that when we pick up an item we make that item a child of the player body all right so now we need to remove it so in order to remove it we will say held item dot transform dot set parent and this time we're gonna set the parent of this the key holder all right it will not be the player body anymore then we need to show it to the player that you drop an item so we will say right here dropped and we will say held item dot name all right and we will set the held item to null because now the player is not holding to anything and after this we want to play a sound and when we play a sound we want the granny to know because whenever we drop something we want the granny to come to that position where the player drop uh, something on the player or the player create any disturbance all right so we will let the granny know and after this we will reset the flag all right so is key will be then set to false and that is all we have to do for the drop item all right so now add a else condition if the player is not holding anything and the player try to press the drop key again and again for that we will say debug dot log and we will say no item to drop all right that is all we have to do we just now need to scroll up in the update method right here copy this paste it right down below instead of pickup key we will say drop key and if we press the drop key we will call the drop item method that's it all right now if we click on player we need to provide the key holder so for the key holder we will select the key and create an empty parent for it name this as key holder all right then click on player and drag and drop this key holder in there then let's go ahead and play the game all right let's go ahead and pick this item we picked it up now if we drop it for example right here as you can see when we press O, it drops the item right there all right and it is not moving with the player anymore and if you go ahead and pick it up again all right we have picked it up now if we go upstairs and drop it right here 
as you can see it drops to the ground perfectly fine all right so now we can pick up and drop items now in the next video what we're going to do is we will allow the player to pick up different types of items in the environment for example we will add rifle and the x and we will allow the player to pick that up all right so with this done see you guys in the next one